Today we embark on a canned meat eating adventure. Let's talk about it. Good mythical morning. If you're in the know like me and you know that the world could end at any moment and you uh -huh. need to be ready for the apocalyptic times that are coming you away, then you need to be prepared. And one way to be prepared is to have lots of canned meat. And if you're an animal of any kind, chances are you're in a can or one of your kind is in a can oh. because uh, there is a smorgasbord of animals that are canned, yes. meats that are canned, and we're gonna combine forces today and taste those and see if they can be identified. It's time for Can You and Me Meet in the Middle of This Canned Meat. So here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna have a can of meat come out. It has a clue painted on the outside by Eddie. Thank you, Eddie and uh, we're going to use our tasting faculties and our looking at clue faculties in order to, as a team, determine what kind of meat it is. We are the meat eating faculty. We you are. Know. We are the yeah, faculty. We're the faculty, not the staff. <laughs> not the staff. Oh, let's get into it. All right, bring it in. Okay. It's a big can. And quick piece of information, we get uh, a special treat if we get four out of six of these correct. But if we don't, we have to take all of the meats, combine them into a, a nasty meatball and eat that. Both of us, so. Happy bee day. That is our clue from Eddie. Take, don't cut yourself, I don't wanna eat, ooh, your blood. Happy bee day. Now, if I look down in there, that looks like <laughs> hamburger and fat. You know what, that might be potatoes. I think that's mashed potatoes and gravy and meatloaf. Well, why would that or be? dog food, because now I'm smelling it. Let's taste it, man. We're working as a team here. It tastes better than it smells, but that's fat. That's not mashed potato. It's a roast beef, man. It's not bad at all. I definitely live on this. I'm pretty sure that this is beef because anything, even like a bison or something that like looks like ground beef, but it's something else, it would have like a hint of gaminess or something different. But why would it be birthday? Happy birthday. A cake? cake. Beef cake. Did beef cake a word? It's a beef cake. I don't think that should be our final answer. It's a cow, man. That's a cow. Cake? Let's just cake ignore have? the clue. I think the clue is throwing us off. It's just like, happy birthday, guys. Hey, you trying Here, to here's a gift. We know you like beef. Okay, so our final answer is cow? Cow? Cow, cow. final answer. You are correct. It's beef. It's ground beef. Oh, okay, good. So we're all over What's it. What's the birthday part? Eddie? You said it, beef cake. Beef cake. <laughs> that was the clue. Oh, <laughs> okay. we got it. You got okay. it. We got it and didn't know it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's uh, That's bring, good. Let's set that one over there. We'll bring the new one in. All right. It's a little can. This is a small one. It's like a cat food can. That's an egg. Egg plus tractor. Plus, no, that's a four wheeler. Well, what is or that? Or a motorcycle. That's an ATV. Well, it's something, it's, a, it's probably a bird because of an egg. <clears throat> Let's pop it, see if you can smell bird. Egg plus, ew, gosh, it looks like flesh. Let's figure out this clue because I would guess that this is like ostrich because it's pink and it's probably a bird. Unless that's not a But it's, this is an equation. It's an egg. An egg plus, plus a, an ATV. Let's taste it. That's gonna be what we need. Oh, it's so, ge it's oh, like it's so gelatinous. It's spamish. It's so gelatinous, guys. It's like brain. Could it be brain? I don't believe that. Let's do it. It's very... Milly. Milly. Ugh. I just think we should go with our instincts, man. So, but this is but some it kind could of be bird. It could be yeah, it could be any bird. Uh, you want to go with ostrich right off the bat? I've never seen an ostrich on an ATV. Is this a motorcycle? <laughs> an ostrich. ostrich can go as fast as a motorcycle. That's it. In fact, and when they you will, go ostrich hunting. You gotta have an ATV. They will kick you and yeah, kill just you. Just like a motorcycle. Final answer is ostrich, ostrich. Drew. Okay, this is potted meat made with chicken, pork added. <laughs> chicken plus pork. Is this supposed to be a pig? It's a motorcycle. Another name for a motorcycle. Hog. Hog. Oh, chicken oh, that's with supposed pork to be, added. Chicken plus pork. Mm -hmm. It's just potted meat. It's Did from, we, it's didn't from we armor. say potted meat? Wait, wait, that's not a fire. It's from Armor. Man, so we said. Armor, one of my favorite said, potted canned meat companies. Mm. Okay. Uh, I gotta clean my palate. Now, what would you say that is? Lance? Orange, green, and blue. Uh, it looks like a pickle sandwich. Now, I want a clarification. The last one was two different animals. Does that mean that other rounds might be more than one animal? That's the only one. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take this off safely. That seems less safe than just... Something tells me that we're gonna have to go spoonage on this. Oh, yeah. oh gosh. It's, it's chunky. Now this is, this is some... 
Ooh, that's that's unexpectedly aromatic. Really? Yeah, smell it. It's an aromatic gravy. Oh, nice. Eddie, your clothes are weird, man. Blue, green, and orange. Let's eat it and see if it gives us anything. That's strong. That's some spicy stuff, man. Ooh, it is spicy. It's a red meat, though. It's not processed, it's a stringy meat ripped right off the animal and put into a can. It's like an elk or something. What other elks are there? The western elk. The eastern elk. The smiling elk. Mm. Always looks friendly, but he will cut you. Yeah, the shifty elk. I wish I were a reindeer, but I'm an elk elk. Yeah, yeah. But what does that mean? There's a gradient in there, have you noticed that? None like, of the artistry is purposeful. Let's not go Bob Ross on this thing. The guy just put a orange, a green, and a red. This is a flag. A flag of what? A country, you dork. Yeah, but what country is orange? <laughs> <laughs> green and blue. What country is really into elk? Maybe I shouldn't lock us so hard into elk. Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's let go of elk. Off, back off of the elk. This is the flag, not the official flag, but the unofficial flag of Australia. Peru. I think this could be a llama meat. In some strange way, you s seem so reasonable right now. It's Th strange for me is, to ever seem reasonable. This is a version of the Peruvian flag. It's not the official Peruvian flag, it's but it is the unofficial. You know, they mix it up occasionally. Like, at any moment, it's on deck. It could move into the, the official. The unofficial flag of Peru. That's a, better than anything I've come up with. I'm gonna say that this is uh, Smells like can. This is llama. Final answer. Al alpaca, to be specific. No. Oh. You're incorrect. <laughs> the animal is an alligator. A gator? And what? The, the, what is the this? Color, those are the colors of the Florida gators. Well. There's no green. The, the, the green is the color of the actual gator, but their colors are orange and blue. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a pickle. You drew a pickle in the middle yeah. of the Florida Gator. That really threw me, Eddie. All right, if we don't want to be eating this uh, conglomerate meatball, which now has ostrich, beef, and llama in it, <laughs> we got to get all of these right. Ugh. That's soupy. You know what? I haven't looked at the clue yet. Yeah, forget the clue. So no, sorry. I feel like I want to taste it and then see if the clue confirms it. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not looking, looking at, at it either. And I'm gonna get a new spoon. Gatorless spoon. <laughs> Ooh, oh, ooh there's bones. This is a shifty elk. It smells barbecue. That is the neck of an animal. It's all neck. I think it's all neck all the time. <laughs> all neck all the time, that's I mean, giraffe. That's a baby giraffe, man. I don't, oh. You wouldn't do that. Nobody you guys that. aren't feeding us a baby giraffe, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Multiple. No. Oh gosh. That's another neck. See if we can find some more neck. I mean. It's the whole thing. Hold on, we can get clues here. That's more neck, uh, more neck. Why did they just put all the it's bones? It's all, oh. Oh, 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 oh. It's a snake. snake. This is a freaking snake. It's a snake, man. Now let's look at the clue and confirm it. On a plane, snake's on a plane. But we gotta eat it, man. We got to eat it. We thought it was just a neck of mo We thought, more neck, more neck. <laughs> Turns out that's what a snake is. All neck. Just more All neck. the time. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in my mouth and just eat it. Oh, you're picking it off of the? It's not bad, it's a good snake. It's not that good. Mm. Totally acceptable in ap apocalyptic situations. It doesn't taste bad in that sauce that uh, tastes like barbecue sauce but looks like chicken noodle soup sauce, i.e. broth. Uh, all right, so that's our final yeah. answer. snake. Uh, little baby. Li little baby giraffe snakes. Giraffe snake. It's rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. That's rattlesnake. Look at that. I'll be dead. Smoked, um. we knew that. Rocky Mountain style. Down, We're like freaking CSI meets paleontologist. Again, I'm not looking at the clue. Gonna peel it back. Uh oh. So we got a good technique. Got an idiot proof. We this make thing. a good team. We should do the teammate thing more often. Yeah. Okay. Man, that is that looks like beef stew, or it could be an organ. Uh, no. That could be a liver. No, it has muscle fiber. Okay, good. This could be elk. Why you gotta be so elk centric? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm biased towards elk. <laughs> Now, if this was sitting out and I was starving, I might be excited, but at this point, I'm like. Yeah, yeah, if you hadn't already eaten snake and, and other things, let's do it. Ugh. Mm. Okay. Ugh, not horrible. Okay, I think I know what it is. I think this is bear meat. Cause it's brown like a bear? Yeah. The it, meat doesn't indicate the color of the it, fur. It, you come up with your guess and then we'll look at the clue and see which one is confirmed. Man, you biased me with your bareness. You think it's bear, don't you? I can believe it's bear, it is a big animal. Red dot. Red dot. Hold on, isn't that the Japanese flag? You think you went flag on us again? I mean, this is the school colors to plenty of schools. All right, if we went with Japan, what, what animal would it be? Panda? Red dot. You can't eat panda. Oh, no. It's an animal that has a lot of fat because it's got the fat that's kind of come to the top here. But that could still be anything. It could be horse. Give I'm me, still going with bear. Give me a rationale Panda about what a, what, a, what a red dot has to do with a bear and I will agree with you. Well, <laughs> if you get attacked by a bear, chances are there'll be some red dots on you. Okay, our final answer is. Bear? The animal is 
reindeer. Elk! Freaking elk, so man! So close to elk! When I've, man. I'm sorry! What? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer! Here we go. Uh, again, I'm not looking at the clue. This is a pop topper. Is this our last one? Oh, gosh. If we get this one right, we dodge the meat bullet. 100% Link. right. Link, we have problems. <laughs> it's pink. It's like I've opened up a vat and there's gonna be an alien in there. Oh my goodness. Look at the consistency. Of, that's, it's human. This is human that's been put into smoothie. That's person. They canned people. This is what people would look like canned. Oh my And in gosh. the apocalypse, there's gonna be a lot of people. All the losers are gonna be canned. Mm-hmm. Don't get canned. That's gonna be my motto in the in the apocalypse. This is like. Let me smell. It smells like pig's feet. <laughs> Doesn't it smell like pig's feet to you? It smells like old hot dogs. I'm not excited. Why is it so pinky? Pinky in the brain. It's brain. Hold on. Hold on. Is it hold brainish? On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It is brain. It is so brain. There's no fibers to it. It just looks like thoughts. I have a thought. It's uh, not to eat this. Last time we ate brains, it didn't go well, man. Uh -uh. But listen, we have to be committed to this because as you always know, eating the brain of an animal is an opportunity to consume its thoughts. So as we try to get this down, yeah. I want you to zero in on the brain tissue. You can become the animal while you're eating it and that's how we're gonna win this game. We cannot spit it out because we don't get the thoughts if we don't swallow it. The thoughts come from the this stomach. This is like a religion. Like you're building a freaking cult yeah. belief system yeah, over yeah. here. You got the thoughts have to get to you the stomach. It can't go through the mouth. The tongue cannot sense thoughts. Learned that a long time ago. Dink it. There we go. Definitely organ. <laughs> You get it down? A little bit. Hold on, think about the thoughts. <laughs> Don't think about that, think about the thoughts. <laughs> I hear something. <laughs> I got it down. Did you get it down? Yeah, hold on, I'm still getting it, I'm taking it in. What are you seeing? I see a fence. <laughs> Nothing, man. I see grass, I see a trough. It's domesticated? It's in a field. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm in a field. My man. I'm, no, low, I'm, my, my, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm low to the ground. You're missing it, man. Yeah, I'm low, to, I'm the, low yeah. to the ground. I'm this, my face is, yeah. My face is this high off the ground. I'm a gerbil. It's a sheep or a pig. I'm a sheep or a pig. Let's see. E equals MC squared. Uh huh. Milk. Milk brain. Hold on. No, no. It's it's in milk. It's in milk. It's in pig's milk. It's in it's milk. In pig's milk. <laughs> pigs have milk. Not that you harvest. <laughs> All right. Gosh. The I felt, aftertaste. But the thoughts. I'm serious about this. I so, felt low to the ground like a, and I was in grass. Yeah, I, no it, mud? No, it was no mud. No, there was, was mud. No, I didn't feel mud, I felt just grass. E equals MC squares is a smart animal. Or it's just it's the brain. Yep, you're right, that just means brain. Brain. Milk brain. Cow, it's, it's a cow, cow brain. brain. It is, that's what it is. Final answer, cow brain eating grass and the trough and all that, yes. Okay, you guys are really close. It's pork brains with milk gravy. That's what I was trying to say! I told you there was mud! I told you I was in the mud! Uh, you're right, I know man. I said gerbil. Pig you brains. said horse and gerbil, and after that I quit listening to you. All right, we'll make the meat, uh, massive meatball. But for now, uh, we say, watch yourself when the apocalypse approaches. Gather your cans of meat. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Ashley from Minnesota, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you watch Good Mythical Crew tomorrow morning on this channel. You can see Mike and Alex and how they went through those superstitions. Yeah, what happened? Did did they lose their luck? Uh. Also, Eddie painted these cans in that. Click through to Good Mythical Mar where we're gonna make our magnetized meatball and eat that. This just in, kissing is illegal. This just in, uh, I've been told that kissing is now illegal in the city of, uh, in every city and every earth. Well, and Doug, I that's gonna be a problem for me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I usually don't like to mix my personal life with the news that we bring to you good people. Report on it, uh, But I really Jeremy. like kissing, and I'm here to say that I'm not gonna stand for this. Well, I mean, look at these lips. Okay, put your hands behind your back. You're coming with me, sir. Work it's a citizen's arrest. You can't deny the power of this. Oh, look at this tongue. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Duck your head. <laughs> so now you're gonna put it in this. And this is what this is getting medical, man.